Did you run into any kind of obstacles covering stories because you were a woman? There were some physical obstacles. Uh, the National Press Club at that time, an all-men's club, and it was not only an all-men's club, women weren't allowed to set foot on the main part of the 13th floor of the National Press Building where they had all the big lunches for cabinet members and visiting heads of state and so on, and, uh, and that was a real barrier. That is the fact that actually got me into being a feminist activist, and I made the best friends of my adult life doing it. Uh, the battle against, the battle to try to keep the National Press Club, make them change their policy, and let women reporters in to hear. When foreign heads of state had come to, heads of government had come to Washington and were only going to make one press appearance, and traditionally they'd made it the National Press Club where women couldn't come. I was not on that fight in the beginning because I wasn't a member of the club. I became a club when I, I became a member when I saw what they were doing. And it took eight years. It took eight years of various kinds of pressure and help from some of the foreign dignitaries themselves. I guess my favorite story from that era has to do with a British Labor Prime Minister, forget his name, who was coming here and who was booked into the National Press Club at a time when we were completely barred. And Elsie Carper of the Washington Post, who was very active in all of this, thought of sending a cable to the women members of parliament of his party saying, your prime minister is going to, and party leader, is going to speak in Washington to the press in a setting where women reporters cannot cover. From the time that cable was dispatched until the Prime Minister canceled the appearance at the National Press Club and said he would have a press conference open to all at the embassy was precisely 18 hours. <laughs> Other than him, we didn't get much help from the, ma the big nation, the developed country people. It was the underdeveloped countries that were more sensitive, not just the women like Mrs. Gan uh, Nehru of India. And heaven help me, Imelda Marcus was helpful too, I have to say that, it's true. Um, and, but it was more the underdeveloped world that related to this kind of discrimination and would cancel their press conferences or not sign in.